Hello. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Abdul Rashid Bagnas. My metric number is CD170182. And my supervisor is Dr. Azwan bin Sapits. Today, I'm here to present my final year projects. Airflow analysis of cascading front wing element of Formula 1 car. Thanks to Dr. Jamal and Dr. Akmal as our panel that will judge my presentation and my final year projects for lending their times to mark my final year projects. So let's hear my presentation. Before I present my result of final year project, so I will present about objective and problem statements. So the objective that may is occur because of the problem statement. So the problem is why this study is made is because of many people doesn't know why the front wing is made like that. There is two elements, three elements, four elements, six elements. There is cascading. Why? So I will make this study to discover why the front wing be like that. So that's why my objective is to study the effect of cascading front element to Formula 1 car aerodynamics. Now, about the scope of the study. So there is four scope of the study that we must follow as a benchmarking. So the first is, the study is related to the front wing section of the Formula 1 car, a state in the regulations. The study is follow the regulations for 2019. They are made by FIA. Okay, the second is computational fluid dynamic software will be used to analyze the aerodynamic characteristic of the front wing. So there is two method to make the analyze about the front wing. The first is wind tunnel by experiment, and the second is by the software, computational fluid dynamic software. So this study is using the CFD software and sees to make the analyze the aerodynamic characteristic of the front wing. The third is the velocity for this study is 20 meter per second, 20 meter per second, and 40 meter per second. That's three velocity that use for making this study to analyze the front wing. And then number four for the last of the scope of the study is refer types of design front wing which are second element, three element, four element, five element, and six elements. There's five designs that uh, we follow for this study. From 2002 until 2018, there is uh, increasing the number of elements for front wing. So we follow that as a design. For the next slide, it's about the methodology. So here's the chart of my method. So for the first is about us determine the title. After the determine the title, we must confirm about the problem statement, the objective and the scope of the study. After that, we must search some things like literature review to make approval about uh, this study. After all of it have confirmed, we move to the AC software by making a modeling machine geometry after that set up the boundary condition and then we run the simulation after we run the simulation we, we get the result and we make the data validation if the data and the result has not been affected or what we want we will back to the modeling and machine to make the another arrangement to get the result that we want after that we get the result of what we want, we plot the graph, and then we analyze the data and make discussion and recommendations, and make a report, and lastly it's end. So for the next slide, it's about the literature review. There is 10 literature review that I have searched. So as you can see, for the first slide, it's a seven topic, the seven journal. The first is about aerodynamic by Bordi and Florin. The second one is about the regulation of the F1, uh, 2019 Formula 1 by FIA. The third is about aerodynamic gates, uh, Houghton and Carpenter. And 
The deck is about the ANSYS Fluent software that I use by Aerodynamic also. The fifth is about the front wing by Mortal. This is a book. And then the deck is about the journal of about Aerodynamic front wing by UZ CFD. And then for the last, this slide about the review is for Mortal Technology by Peter. So, uh, this seven. So, for the next slide is another three of journal that I have searched. So the first is aerodynamic of a Formula One car front casket wind during cornering. This is by our university mate by Azul Sape, Akmal Nizam and Rahim. The second is a design for Formula One racing car. This is by Tria Nanalal and Bad Gama. And the last one is design of Formula One racing car by Bad Gama. Now I will present about the methodology simulation. So before we make the study, we have to validate about data to ensure the step that we use for our design is approved by others. Like we copy the steps that have used by other journals. So the journals that I have used is by Marwan Abdul Mutalib, uh, twenty seventeen. It's from Utesha also. So, uh, the topic of the journal is Analysis of Rear Wing Airflow Characteristic for F1 Car. This journal is using NACA 0012 as the airflow test, and there is 4 angle of attack, which is 0, 4 degree, 8 degree, and 12 degree for the angle of attacks. So, the result will be compared by coefficient lift and coefficient drag with our uh, validation data. Now, I will explain about the result by graph for my validations. This is a leaf coefficient graph. So, from 0, 4, 8, and 12 AOA, as you can see, the pattern of the graph is decreasing. It's same with uh, Marwan. My study also same with Marwan, but only the increasing of attack of angle. My study and Marwan is increasing the gap. You know? I will explain about the graph of validations about drag coefficients versus angle of attacks. As you can see, the increasing of attack of angle in effect the decrease increasing the drag coefficients. So the result between my study and Marwan almost the same. Uh, from zero attack of angle until twelve attack of angle. So that's why I follow the step that I get from my study that I validate the data. The step that I use, I use for my designs of the front wing element, 500 element from 2 element to until 6 element to make the uh, this study. Parameter that I have used to make the validations and also I will use this parameter also at my uh, study design. So as you can see, the Renault number, it will follow by the velocity, decreasing of velocity also decreasing of Renault number. So, the density, we will use the density of air, as you can see, 1.225, and the velocity is 20 meter per second, 30 meter per second, and also 40 meter per second. So, and then the fourth is about the viscosity of fluid, it seems, so 1.7894, exponent by negative 5. And the type of airflow is K epsilon that I've used is a turbulence airflow. So, here's uh, for example of the design that I've used for every design of for the benchmarking that I've used. Uh, I made, I get this dimension in, at the F1 regulation 2019. As you can see at the base is 575 millimeter. The My design cannot more than 575. And the height of the front wing is 225mm. So my front wing design cannot be more than 225mm. So the tail of the last element will be at 225 And the tip of the front element will be the 575 That's a benchmarking that I've used for every design of the front wing. Now, I will present about the result of the model of the front wing at 20 meter per second 
as you can see there is a uh, five row and five column uh, so as you can see the the model from you has five from two element until six element and the column of cl is a coefficient of lift fl is a lift force cd is a coefficient of drag and the fd is drag of force so at the lift coefficients the highest of lift coefficient is negative 5.45820 for the six element for the lift force the highest is negative 3.34320 at the six element for the coefficient of drag the highest is 1.29200 at the two element and the highest force also will be effect at two element 0 0.79137 for the force drag for the two element so the negative that show at the coefficient lift is shown about the downforce of the FOL. If if the result is positive, it will make the thrust for the FOL. So now I will uh, present about the result of the coefficient lift for 20 meter per seconds. The pattern for the velocity 30 meter per second and also 40 meter per second is the same pattern with the 20 meter per seconds only the increasing of the number of the result so here as you can see the graph is show that the second element until four element it decrease and then it increase again until six element so uh, that's the result that get for coefficient lift for the coefficient drag the pattern is from two element until four element it decrease then it increase again from four element to six element so the highest that you can see here is second element is the highest of drag coefficient so that result is a show about the velocity result of two element for 20 meter per seconds so as you can see the velocity is higher at the below of the airfoil at the tip of the airfoil at the red color and the green color and the blue color is the slowest velocity it is because of the next picture is about the pressure uh, as you can see the highest pressure the low uh, velocity result it's because of the barrier that effect at the airfoil so because of the barrier it effect of at the airfoil it make the high pressure and it, it decrease the velocity of the wind so uh, at the red color for this picture is the highest pressure and at the below at the tip of the airfoil is the green color and the yellow color is a low pressure that occur at the airfoil it's the same with the three element uh, as you can see but as you can see at the three element they have a vortex that occur at the high uh, airfoil and the third element at high airfoil there's a behind of the airfoil occur there's a vortex happen there and then uh, here's the result of pressure control for three element and then we move the four element velocity result it's the same uh, i have explained at the second element the pattern is uh, almost the same and then the pressure control also as you can see the pressure low is always at the below of the airfoil and here the five element uh, pressure control also and then the six element uh, and then the pressure control for the six element so the next slide is about the result of the model front wing at 30 meter per second so as you can see it's the same pattern with the 20 meter per second but only the increasing of number of the result so the lift coefficient, the highest is 12.374 at the 6th element. And the coefficient drag, the highest is always second element, 2.39050. Okay, and then we move to the result of the model front wing at 40 meter per second. The highest also the same, it increase again, the number of the result. The 6th element, it increase uh, for the coefficient lift if negative 22.102. A lift coefficient result and the drag coefficient uh, the same for two element 1.23730 uh, 
Then the result of model from doing at 40 meters second. So the pattern, as you can see, it's increased by the velocity. Also, the increased result of the coefficient lift and also coefficient drag. So the next slide is about the uh, for the doctor C about the comparison result by velocity. As you can see, the pattern the same, but the increasing of the number of the result is increased by the increasing of the velocity. So uh, next is about the drag coefficient. It's the same with the twenty meter second. But the increasing of the velocity also increase the drag coefficient result. So here's the approval of my result by graph. Okay, next is about of the result by table of CL over CD. So this is a ratio of the CL over CD from two element and six element by velocity. So for the twenty meter per second, as you can see. The highest of the ratio is 6.45 uh, For the 30 meter per second also same is 6.81 And the 40 meter per second also 7.07 .07. That's three results that I have state or I have speak now It's all at the 5 element So that makes sense that The increasing of the velocity also increase the ratio of the CL over CD and also, the highest of the uh, every velocity is the result that the design of the follow model front wing five element is better than others. So the increasing of two element until five element is increased, but until the six element it decreases. As you can see, from six point four five it decreases to five point nine six for twenty meter per second. As you can see, the result of the table. So, for the proof that I said now, so here the graph that I show, as you can see, the graph pattern is increased from two element until five element, but it decreases at the six element. Maybe this is because of the uh, FIA, or maybe the effect of the design that I've made is not uh, affect the drag conversion for the better result. Uh, because the attack of angle is affect this all result. For the conclusion that we can get, that we can observe from the study. So the study that can be observed is the increasing of elements makes the coefficient C of leaf coefficient increase. For the example that I can state here, uh, that I have explained before, the results show at six element that the higher coefficient leaf which are negative 5.4582 for velocity 20 meter per second, negative 12.374 for 30 meter per second, and negative 22.102 for 40 meter per second. Why I said higher is because F1 is need the downforce high because to make the car stability and also make the cornering and overtaking. So uh, that's why the higher, the better the uh, front wing. So next is about the this observe about the increasing of velocities makes the value of coefficient lift and coefficient drag increase. In this case, speed 40 meter per second produce the highest relative CL and CD which are negative 22.102 and 3.4131 for element 6 respectively. So as you can see the increase of velocity that I stated before at uh, the graph make the value uh, of the result increase. Okay, next is about the, what we observe about the result of the ratio. We observe that the increasing of element is a fact of the ratio of the design. So the ratio of the design is increased until five element design. Then it drops at six elements, maybe because of the design that I have made, or maybe of the uh, FIA uh, makes that because of uh, to make the flow air flow of air to other parts of the body because the front wing is the front part so it's the first contact of the air to make it better to reduce drags that affect uh, the wind of the car so that's the result of the conclusion so and the last uh, explanation about my slide is a study contributions so as you can see 
The study explained and discovered why the design of the Formula 1 has cascading. From 2002 has two elements only, but now 2019 has six elements. So that's why my study has explained, and you can see the result has explained why they made the hazard cascading. And the last uh, of the study correlation is the study shows the aerodynamic interaction is so easy to predict. But in the Formula 1 competition, it's one of the important things to achieve the objective to be a champion. So that's why aerodynamic is important for F1 to make he win the competition of the FIA. So that's all from me uh, for the explanation about the final year projects. Thank you for the author for letting your time to hear my presentation. So thank you. Assalamualaikum.